Hello everyone, uh, my name is Daniel and I am a second year law student on the common law degree which is a law degree here at Glasgow meant for students who wish to practice outside Scotland so in common law jurisdictions like England, um, Australia, uh, Canada, Pakistan, India and this is a week like a three day week in my life so all of our lectures have been online recorded uh, but this year we have on campus tutorials slash seminar so I am on campus once or twice per week my my first substantial task and one which I never look forward to is putting my lenses in. After some failed attempts, I had all of my four eyes in. I know that joke. Then I sat on the sofa to do some reading ahead of a live session. Yes, I rarely sit at my desk. I know, not very aesthetic. Before the live Zoom meeting, I read over the formative feedback for our essay. Oh, and just a quick tip, this website Pomo Focus is the one which I use to track how much I study every day and this has been somewhat helpful because there were days where I thought okay I did not do anything today but because I'm tracking almost every single minute of what I'm studying it's somewhat motivating because you're like I did do an hour. <laughs> After that I had charcoal chicken seek kebab for lunch and then I decided to procrastinate for a while. At about 3 p.m. I had the live session which was for foundations of evidence law which is one of my courses this semester. Um, We got feedback on our essay and some exam prep tips you know the absolute joy when someone gets your name right the way it's pronounced in your own language instead of finishing the prep for the business organization tutorial uh, I decided to call it a day but before I go to sleep like this is the website I use for like my to-do list so it's called to do list and this is like for today I've done my three tasks that's my goal every day so like this is one of the tasks for today and tomorrow and then I can just choose the like priority now I'll just take out my lenses and then stay in bed for four hours so it's just around 10 right now um, and I woke up like five minutes ago which might sound late but it's like half an hour earlier than when I wake up ever since the pandemic began. I have a tutorial at 11 so I'm just gonna leave in like half an hour but I've got to check the examination timetable because I just got the email that they have released it. I really care what order they are in because um, I've got stuff to catch up on for all. It releases at half past nine, which is a problem because this is during Ramadan and I can't even wake up like during normal days, but it's fine, I guess. And this is the first one on the 26th. And then I've got like a 14 days gap for the equity one. And then the last one is foundation of evidence, which is the tutorial that I've got today. Since I began my degree in September 2020, I've always had 24 hours online exam. And that is the same this year. The only downside is both the revision period and my first two exams are during Ramadan but we move. After looking at the timetable I left for the tutorial as I live around 20 minutes from the uni and like I said I am on campus once or twice per week so I drive myself and since I left early today I was able to find parking closer to my tutorial building which is rare. Still like 15 minutes left and I found parking. Would you look at that? found parking easily but I had to like run 5 minutes there to get uh, a parking ticket because I'm a responsible citizen. I'm going home guys. I'm going home. I've got another live session for the revision in like four minutes. Anyway, after attending the general Q&A for my equity and trust course, we went to a local restaurant in Shawlands called Heber as it was my dad's birthday. The actual place is decent, I would say, um, and the food is nice. The chicken karai is definitely what will stand out if you're ordering their uh, main menu. On Wednesday, I woke up just before my last two tutorials of the semester and I drove there myself again. So I'm like 25 minutes early but that's fine because my second tutorial is here in the St. Andrews building and now I'm just gonna walk up like the main uni area. So I can either walk up there like right up there then take the left or just take the first left. Just to give you an idea, this is the St. Andrews building and it's like a 12 minute walking distance because our campus is huge. So 
after that tutorial ended like 15 minutes before it was supposed to which is great because now I don't need to run um, you know the most embarrassing thing was uh, when you don't have a pen to sign the register just on time for this tutorial which is good because in the last one I was the first one and that was it I've been uh, catching up on my lectures which I missed because we had two uh, summative essays so the ones that do count towards my final grade so one was for business organization which is like 30% of my overall grade and then for equity and trust it's like 25% so because i was focused on doing my essay i fell behind on a few weeks of lectures so now i'm watching those and also doing revision for the first few weeks of uh, the course and this year i also have the option to do one essay before the actual exam for my foundation of evidence course so i have to do revision watch those lectures that i have to catch up on and then also start researching and writing up that essay during this reunion period anyway i hope you enjoyed this day week in the life uh, let me know if you want me to make videos about uh, the exam structure or what to expect from the different law courses but you can also just send me a message on my instagram if there's anything you would want to ask a second year law student here and i will see you soon